Underwriting is a word you hear a lot, but what does it really mean? Well, here's a little history lesson to put it all in context. The word underwriter dates back to the story of Lloyd's of London, which is the world's oldest continuously operating insurance company. Lloyd started as London's coffee house in the shipping districts of the city. Underwriters were individuals who signed underneath the line of the bottom of the insurance contracts that insured the merchant's ships. They offered their personal guarantee and took personal liability for the decisions they made. If the ship went down and the car was lost, the underwriters had to personally pay the claim on the insurance contract. Needless to say, they took their job very seriously. Now, one wrong decision could completely wipe them out financially. Today, the underwriting guidelines for home mortgages in the U.S. are determined by Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and the Federal Housing Administration, the Veterans Administration, the Rural Housing Service, and the U.S. federal government itself through the Dodd-Frank rules and regulations. Because these groups buy, guarantee, or insure the mortgages, these are the organizations that set the underwriting guidelines. Like those underwriters several hundred years ago in the city of London, these folks are the ones who are on the hook if the mortgages default. Now, of course, the banks and mortgage companies have some liability as well. For example, if a mortgage goes into default due to some negligence on the part of the mortgage company, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the FHA, and the US government can go after the mortgage company for damages. They can require mortgage companies to buy back the loans or pay penalty. That is why the underwriting process is so intense and detail-oriented even to this day.